Welcome everyone to another week of MMO Concept Art and Design. Uh, I am your instructor Steve and tonight we're going to be looking at some concept work from Nick and we're going to be looking at some models from Sergio. So I think we will start out. Nick you've got the one so I think I'm going to grab you right away. should be coming to you. There it is. Yep. I just could not find my mouse cursor to click on the button. <laughs> All right. Yeah, very nice. Right. Yeah, I added some detail. Like, I'm not super happy with the perspective, and for some reason I couldn't draw trees very well last week, but... <laughs> That's all right. Th those weeks come and go. I really yeah. like the scale. Yeah, so like I try to put like little silhouettes of people back there, and I don't know if you can see them very well, but... Yeah, there's one in the front, too. Yeah, it does make it really oh, massive. Yeah, like, and there's some other things that bother me, like I want to move those little doors by the bridges and the bridges up a little bit, because it just doesn't make sense where it's sitting right there. But other than those little things, I'm... It got, it, I think it gets the idea across more than anything else. Indeed, indeed it does. And this would be like... Uh, That'd like, be like the like, bottom of that. Yeah, just, last just like one story, so but, to speak. Or yeah, two. like the bottom tier, because there's no hole in the middle. But it'd be like the same for the other tiers, but there'd be like the bridges in the middle and the trees would be maybe further back. Cool. I'm sorry about the trees. Do you, do you find that you have those week or two week or month mm -hmm. runs? I find I'll look back at oh, stuff I did and I can see like a specific two month run where I'm like, I couldn't draw anything. What was wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah. Like I remember those all the time. Like I don't know why, but yeah, there are days where I'm just like, that should be like a tree, but it's just like a blob of color. <laughs> that happens to everyone. <laughs> The sad thing is, is a lot of time I don't notice it until I look back. No, I knew it when I was painting it. I'm just like, well, I can't figure this out. I'm just going <laughs> to... So this will do. Well, I knew they were trees, so it can't be that bad a week. <laughs> All right, yeah, very nice. I like. I really like that uh, open interior idea a lot. I think for gameplay especially, it's going to open up a lot of running around and cool places to go and explore. And yeah, I'm a big, big visual engineer, and it'll be between the stuff on the bottom. Very sweet. Alrighty. Well, that was quick and easy. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got some other stuff that might not be related that I could show to, uh, but it's up to you guys if you want to see it or not. Oh, if you want to, we'll buy Nelson some time to keep doing the stuff he's doing. So I'm messing around with like a new like landscape concept technique thing right now that I saw, where you do a like a like basically an abstract painting. Like I painted over the top of this one, but I can pull up all of them real quick here. But basically, you just threw down some abstract color. Yeah, like there we go. I think I pulled it up. So I just basically did that until I thought I saw something with like a decent composition. And then I save the thumbnail to paint something over later. So, like, the one I'm working on now is the uh, third one in from the left on the top. Okay, yeah. See it. So I'm, I'm doing, like, a weird ski skate, seascape kind of thing where I've got, like, those weird, like, glowing algae in the water and, like, big spiky rock islands. And I'm going to put, like, a guy in a rowboat in there. It's going to be pretty cool looking. All right. It's nice. It, it it really reminds me of um, a tutorial I saw of uh, Scott Robertson. But oh, he, what he did was um, put uh, several of uh, of those abstract paintings one on top of the other and mess with the layers until he saw something. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool, because I just painted shapes and distorted them until I saw something, like, with the free transform tool. Now, when you were laying down all those abstract colors, did you have a theme in mind? I mean, did you 
pick that really neon blue and green because you knew you wanted to do some kind of sea thing, or did you just no, randomly I, grab I, colors? I decided I hadn't used that color combination before, and that I was going to find something to do with it. Um, so it was more just to try to push myself and find something new to do. Cool. But nice. general, but for the rest of them, I was trying to go with uh, uh, complementary colors just because they tend to make good compositions. Okay, but but there wasn't any kind of theme other than just these colors go together. Yeah, basically, I was trying to do color and basic composition without trying to think about what I was actually painting. Because, yeah, I was sitting there and I couldn't come up with anything to paint, so I'm just like, well, let's just do that. Thumbnailing is awesome. That's... It, yeah. I don't. I don't even want to admit how much time I spend thumbnailing because I just can't think of what to do. And you just, I I tend to do it a lot in just black and white, but and just create a bunch of shapes and look for something in it. Yeah, like I thought about rendering clouds and doing that stuff, but I saw someone I don't remember who do like a tutorial on that abstract stuff, and they just did basically what I saw, which was paint something, distort it till I saw other things, and went from there. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, that looks like that'll end up being a very interesting piece. <laughs> yeah, thanks. At the very least, the colors will be really cool. I like that combination. Yeah, like it, yeah. it was literally me playing with a color slider till I saw something interesting. That's yeah, nice colors. Awesome. I can't wait to see how that one turns out. Thanks. Someday I'm going to have you show me your rock technique, too, because I can tell you paint them differently than I do. And I like the way you do I, it. I draw basic rock, rock shapes with different colors and then use the smudge tool where I think the rocks will be. I pull most of the shapes out using the smudge tool so you get the cool blending of colors. Hmm. Very cool. And then you just go in and highlight cracks. and. Yeah, I go in and like clean stuff up, maybe smudge around a little bit more after I do highlights. Yeah, very neat. Nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Alrighty, well in that case, Sergio, you're up, buddy. Let me find... Uh, okay. I'll so get used to doing this one of these days. Alright, coming at you. Yo, Nick, I really like the, uh, the color palette between all of the thumbnails, too. Yeah, I intentionally organized it so the color palette didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then it makes sense. It's like, that'd be really cool actually if you painted something with all of that in it. So I just went from, like, that blue, green, yellow uh, analogous color scheme to, I don't remember what the other one was, like, a blue and yellow complementary scheme, and then sort of moved on that way. Awesome. Alrighty, uh... Talk to us, Sergio. Got some cool stuff going on. Okay, uh, this is uh, just speed uh, sketches done uh, uh, really quick. Um, uh, these ones are uh, the rigs. You have uh, Daniel here, which is uh, actually she's showing the the back because I was um, uh, trying to do a scene and then since the seat the, there was a an assassin sitting on a chair uh, that she shot but uh, wasn't working I erased it and start doing it. <laughs> when in doubt delete it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I did um, the, the pilot uh, who should be uh, if I don't remember if I remember correctly, the the first person on Elitia. Oh, her brother, yeah. Yeah, and uh, her mother. Sweet. <laughs> uh, she, uh, nice. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but uh, she didn't have a, a cybernetic arm, didn't she? Uh, no, as far as her, it was just the eye, and uh, the rest of it was internal, like her heart and stuff like that. Oh. Well, I had to erase a few lines there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like it. Darn it, Richard, she's got a cybernetic arm now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these were just um, done really quickly. I mean, I just did half of the face, mirror it. The same with these ones. 
That looks freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're a heck of a character yeah. artist, man. Uh, then I I did this uh, because I haven't seen much creator uh, creatures, so and this is the same thing. I mean, um, really, uh, I spent like twenty minutes. Uh, I I didn't want to to. I didn't have that much time because I actually had a blackout. I, I went two days without power, so. And I had work to do. So oh, that yeah, sucks. pretty much. Especially yeah. when you're in an apartment after a few hours of uh, yeah. of not having power, you don't have water either. So yeah, yeah when the zombie apocalypse comes, I, I'm gonna murder a lot of people in the just just in the first week because I'm mad about not having electricity anymore. Quote, quote for the day, <laughs> Steve. I'm going to murder a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, most of these were thought uh, mainly has mounts, but can be used for other things. I like the middle one. This one? Yeah. yeah. Good eyes. And you can tell it's, it's mirrored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's alright though. Yeah. It, it, if it helps, I mean, most things are uh, symmetrical anyway. So, I mean, you might as well mirror it and go yeah. in and add detail later. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, I erased the one with the kind of mammoth things. <laughs> and uh, I took the face and I put it into this. I don't know. It's very uh, Griffinish. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Other than these two, I. Let me just. I did the feet. Oh, look at that! Uh, this is already in the Dropbox. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to discuss that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll talk tonight about uh, migrating some of the Dropbox stuff and how we're going to do that. And... Okay. I know Nelson's got uh... some ideas. So... Oh. And I took the 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 sculpt I did for the male and reworked it into a female, so it might be weird right now, but eh, this is pretty much it. I didn't, uh, I couldn't do more, much more than that. Yeah, I, I I would like her if she was a little more voluptuous. Yeah, but in general, yeah. That looks good. And the feet look awesome. Yeah, I think I I have to uh, put a little more of uh, work in the hands. the 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 thing is, the the body is mostly a base, as I was saying, I believe last class, uh, to put some armor in directly in the model, model on top of it, or even render this and draw on top. A sketch on top of it, but the hands, the the head, the hands, and the feet. It's something that will show in the. I believe uh, it will show even with the uh, uh, with the equipment. So yeah, I, I think I have to put a few uh, a little more uh, more of work in the hands, but. Not not the, that much in the, the feet because the the model has wrinkles and all. But yeah, the feet are pretty good. But yeah, I mean the overall shape is excellent. I agree. That's awesome work. If you're only down to detailing, that's a big win. No, uh, that could. be interesting if the women were bigger. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little it's a little late. In the... That 
That would scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like yeah. it. I just imported the the sculpt. I haven't done any work. You can say by the mesh. <laughs> That silhouette is actually the mesh. Wow. <laughs> oh god, yeah, yeah, I hate that. See how they come here? I think we'd probably have to do some retopologizing for that one. Uh, maybe a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you have, uh, let me see. You also have the, the actual sculpt for the male here, but it's separated in layers. This one is mostly what you will want to use to work because if you use this one, it, your frame rate is going to suffer, I believe. Yeah, that's got to have a gazillion. Uh, yeah, there you have it. Oh, that's not bad. For a skull. No, I decimated them also. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I was I was expecting like five million polygons or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> I couldn't run it. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say no, you have uh, a really impressive laptop. Uh, the, the actual Scott has <laughs> uh, the the actual Scott has uh, only the head has like uh, I don't know close to four million. Wow. But. Uh, I can run that in ZBrush, not here. <laughs> it will die. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much all I got. I don't care what computer you have, open that much in 3D Studio. Yeah, yeah Max will grind to a yeah. halt at that polygon count no matter what. <laughs> that is um, awesome. Sorry for the feedback. We've got some heavy equipment running in the other end of the hallway here. But as far as this goes, you said this is on the Dropbox, correct? Yep. Yeah, it, it doesn't have the female on it because oh, um, cool. it, it was just uh, an import. But you have the the for the female you have the OBJ and the tool for ZBrush. Um, okay. All of this I I I'm updating uh, the readme a readme file that I put there at a, a text file. Uh, with all the the dates and the updates I, I do to the models, just in case anyone wonders. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. I I had serious doubts that our first couple of attempts would actually look like the drawings, mm -hmm. and that's just awesome. Yep. I would uh, play as that guy. Yeah. I want to. <laughs> he looks like a badass. Actually, I was, uh, I was just thinking they have uh, some of the workflow they illustrate with that uh, substance designer is basically a high, low poly mesh thing. Like, you don't have to bake something in 3D Studio and then open it in the substance designer. It can actually work with both models. So I'm gonna experiment with that and see what I can do with these uh, with these files if they're available later. Oh, so you uh, yeah. <clears throat> so you texture it on the high poly and it automatically makes the textures for the low poly too. Uh, basically, yeah, it uses the high poly as a reference. Um, sorry, guys, I just gotta yeah. quickly brief someone. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, with these ones, uh, there is something to have in mind. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, each time I I go from ZBrush to Max, the size is actually really small. I had to uh, scale this up because um, it was really small. Hmm. Right now, this head has uh, from here to the chin, it has like 23 cent centimeters. But uh, yeah, when when I when I just imported, it was like it was smaller than the feet. Huh. I don't know why it does that, but even using GoSee and all, it does that. 
for me, but it probably just has I weird units. Yeah, I don't know how to set up the units in ZBrush. I just worked and eh. So yeah, the OBJs will actually be small, but you can scale them. And it's not really a big deal. Yeah, Quick Search says there's nothing you can do about that unless you use the Gozi thing to export but, it. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I don't really know how to use Gozi, so... Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so. But yeah, just, it's just a Quick Search, everybody says, yeah, it imports some tiny and you got to scale it up. There's nothing you can do about it. So. Yeah, if I if I go the other way, if I use Gozi from Max and then go to... ZBrush when I when it, it keeps the scale, but uh, if you did the entire model in ZBrush and then pass it to 3ds, you're screwed. Hmm. There must be a way to to solve that, but uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it matters not because that is an awesome model and we can scale it however we like. Yep. The, the back is a little weird, but. Yeah. It's okay. That's pretty good. The, uh, you know, I, I was uh, seeing some artifacts that I didn't saw uh, last time, like here it has a weird change in the muscle. Uh, and over here this is uh, too pronounced in the middle, but yeah, the, mostly uh, I'm seeing this, uh, I, I'm saying this because uh, if you were going to make the normal map this will show. Yeah, that, well, it's. I believe. I mean, uh, if the low poly, I mean, if it's a little more pronounced, but we just bake the normal map out of it, that, that might end up being a good thing. Because we'll get a nice looking normal. Hmm. So we'll find out. Yeah. Hey, eventually, we're going to throw armor and clothes and stuff on them anyway, so. I'll see if I can track down some extra information about working between 3D Studio and ZBrush, like a best practices video or something. And uh, I don't know for sure. I think I've got you on uh, Skype, Sergio, or no? No, I on, I was only able to to add uh, Steve. Actually, I was trying to find the rest, but a lot of people appeared. I, I don't usually use Skype, so. Okay. But yeah, you can add me. It's just my full name. Sergio Budnik. Sergio okay. M. Budnik. And Sorry, so you, you uh, hold that thought for one second. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah, poor Richard has to jump in and out with work. Um, just type it into a yeah. Buzznet, Sergio. And then he can pull up from there. It's pretty much my name. Oh. Yeah, then he can just copy-paste. He'll find you. Okay, sorry. Um, um, I had him throw it in BuzzNet. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll do that, and then we can have a chat about how we can work between those two programs with the different models and whatnot. I'm really looking yeah. forward to playing with the Substance Designer, though, because seeing how you can layer things like dirt and blood and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be awesome. And the fact that you can interact with it in real time inside the game engine is just epic. Yeah, this should be really exciting to see how that works out. 
I'm, I'm looking forward to being extremely jealous that I can't afford Substance Designer right now. <laughs> well, it's only 99 for the non-commercial. At least I think it's around that. Bah. I, I don't need non-commercial. I, I need the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll have another uh, promo for it around Christmas or something. Yeah, I can just leave little notes around the buzz cave for Jason. Look, <laughs> look, it's on sale. Look, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Funny facts. <laughs> Wouldn't this be cool? Imagine what we could do. All right. Well, uh, hopefully by that point, you could actually say, well, we already have proof of what we could do. Yeah. Here's the videos. Yeah, there you go. Take a look at this. This is how we did it. I need this. <laughs> All righty. That is awesome. I can't wait to see you two working back and forth and see how this turns out. It will. Well, from my perspective, it's either going to be glorious or hilarious no matter what. So. <laughs> hey, can I show you? Can I show you my imagine, lines so you can you guys can give me feedback? Yeah. I imagine it will start off hilarious and become glorious. And that's acceptable. That's twice the entertainment for me. <laughs> Sometimes right. it happens the other way around. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> A lot to me, actually. <laughs> oh, that's glorious. And now it's stupid and hilarious. Hello. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I still just uh, tracing that, uh, but I think it's uh, it's going pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, yeah, you always have some, some cleanup to do. Some some nice. It's a pretty nice. I mean, there there is little things like that. I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have trouble getting it uh, perfect, but if you if you look, uh, it's be you know that's more wobbly. That's um, you know that this is more ugly. <laughs> than you know, if you didn't point things cleaner. like these out, we would never notice. <laughs> right. <laughs> but. Uh, Does it uh does that automatically give you the line width variance? No. No. You have, you have to no, do that. I was doing, I was experimenting with yeah. Okay. Manga Studio is a lot easier to get the line width in because it for some reason the pressure sensitivity on their pens is set up better. So it's a lot easier yeah. to to handle some of that stuff uh, in my opinion. If 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 you're using like vector layers which I'm not uh then you can you can uh, uh, adjust the sizes afterwards and stuff. You can do some pretty cool things, like. Uh, oh, that's like Illustrator uh, then. Yeah, it it, it it has some similar il Illustrator stuff, but. Uh, but I mean, but you, yeah, you can get some pretty smooth line width variation just from pressure sensitivity, right? Uh, well, I'm not that great with it, but. Yeah, but that's pretty smooth. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean. Even if the line isn't smooth, the gradation of the uh, line is smooth. I guess. Put uh, some more stabilization on it and try it. I mean, I, 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 it, uh, it's it's pretty like I've been doing tests. Like, th yeah, it's hard. It's hard when I'm being watched, but uh, but like this way, it's a lot easier to uh, to get some really. Nice lines. I'm trying to remember where it's at, but like Sergio was saying, you can actually like have it clean up those lines a little bit. Yeah, stabilize it right here. Not, not that percent. Like this, each one, like like this does a lot, but you you, you kind of feel the lag a little bit. Yeah. So I do I do have, you know, this is it with it off. But see, I. I can do some pretty good uh, lines this way, but uh, like it's really difficult to go down or up or, or they did. this way. 
but yeah, you can rotate it. So um, yeah, that's why you rotate it or flip your canvas so they are all going the way that's good for you. Uh, I have one one thing. Um, you're doing this on a new layer, right? Because you're gonna run out of uh, undos. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. No thanks. Yeah. Well, he can that's always a, just load the file again. Right. So that's a, that's a, I was I was trying what I did I I made some dots and then tried to connect first uh, with um, like uh, uh, you know straight lines. Uh, without rotating, and then and then I tried to do it with um, little curves to work on those. Oh, that's a pretty creative exercise. But, yeah, just trying to. Um, yeah, it's going going fast. I can get you know really good stuff, but it's it, it's it's difficult. It's once you you know you try and go. Oh, I want to you know reach there. Then it's it's a lot more difficult <laughs> to not, you know, go past it to go at that speed. Yeah, uh, what I will say, I, I don't know here, but traditionally you usually ghost it a few a few times without you writing like you pass it. No, 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 you, you pass the, the pen. Uh, oh, you passed it, yeah, for, you can erase it. For those, uh, those two points without actually writing, just to uh, oh. Oh, get yeah, your hand yeah. used to used right. to that moment, and then you throw the line. Uh, traditionally, I do that. I don't know. I will never do it here, but it might work. Well, yeah. The thing is, with undo, you can you can you can you can, you can uh, test it with actually making the line, and then just undo it. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, you're coming along pretty good with that, man. I I don't have any uh, critique to give you. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like I, I, like cause I I don't I don't know. It, I mean, do in professional stuff can they have these little bit of wobble type things, or do they or do they all illustrate now, <laughs> or are they just that good? Well, I, I remember back when you were going through uh, Derek's training and he talked about mm -hmm. doing it really high res or or mm -hmm. really large and then shrinking it down. Mm -hmm. That's that's how they get rid of a lot of it. If you look at it really large, there is some wobble. When you res that right. down to a quarter of the size, it disappears. And if you're working, if you're working traditionally, you usually just hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, I mean, see, some of these lines are nicer than others. Like this one is particularly nice, I think. But, oh, uh, most of your lines are pretty good. But they probably they probably do. I mean, once uh once it's colored in, you know, like uh, oops, like this. Once you once you get it colored in, especially when you're, you know, Zoomed in too much, then it starts. Uh, no, it looks sense. nicer. I, I'm afraid the only critique I have for you, Wolf, is the same critique that we all have, and that's it's pretty good. The more you practice, the better it will be. Right. <laughs> that's yeah. You're not doing anything wrong. Your lines are pretty strong. It's just practice. Mm -hmm. You might want to try going with a slightly larger brush and getting used to using the pressure sensitivity more so you can get a little bit more variation within each individual line, but it still looks pretty good. Th that way it's easier to go thick to thin and you don't have to worry so much about, you know, doing switching brush sizes and that kind of stuff just so it's faster. I mean, that's something I need to work on because I don't do enough line art, but... Ditto. <laughs> When I sit down and focus on it, I can get pretty good results by using do just one brush. I, I do almost no line art, so yeah, I suffer there too. Wolf, you're doing that on the wrong layer. Just kidding. <laughs> 
I you made uh, a mess. saved work, so it's <laughs> <laughs> I just wouldn't save it. But. Yeah, I'm like Derek, who at one point saved over a bunch of his stuff. Oh and... yeah, <laughs> oh, he did that many times. <laughs> That's why I do iter iterative saves, where I'm just like, I'm going to save out as a number, like, as a name plus one, and then that way I don't save over, and if I do, I can always go back. Oh, Derek was just notorious for either accidentally hitting save and saving over one of them, or just going to the wrong layer and then painting on it beyond undoing it. It was hilarious. Yeah. And then saving, and then... Oh. <laughs> yeah, or both, yeah. <laughs> Now my hard drive is full of just iterative builds of different 3D models and stuff like that. I think I'm up to version like uh, the 12th or 13th file for Danielle's character model. That's all right though. You you, you can always delete saves. You can't get something back yeah. you didn't save. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like there, I followed a tutorial once, like doing a human model where I built like each thing separately. So I had an iterative save, like five iterative saves for the hands, and then like five iterative saves for the torso. And, like five after I put them together, it got pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're coming along nice, Wolf. I, I I got nothing to bust your chops on. Yeah, I'm just I'm just wondering how far away I am to being able to do something that looks professional as far as as far as just that I mean this is uh, like I would do a lot more with line thickness here so, I mean for the actual yeah I, I would say I would agree with Nick and uh, just up your brush a hair so you can get a little more width out of uh, your pressure sensitivity and a little more practice at closing at closing up your lines and but I, I say closing I, up you mean not going past well if I mean, if you go past you're okay cuz you can always erase it yeah but uh, just last week people were saying like oh you don't need to connect everything you don't necessarily but are are they connecting or not connecting where you want them to that's the question if they are, then great. Um, if you're like, well, it's, I kind of meant for this one to connect, but I didn't, well, then keep practicing. It's probably more important to have them connect on the outside, like the edges of the character, than it is like on the inside where you're just defining shapes. Uh, even if that makes even sense. on yeah. the outside, uh, you can uh, sometimes li uh, leave it open, but you have to be mindful of where you leave it open. Like, yeah. for example, uh, where, I don't know how to explain it, where, where two forms uh, actually um, go together, you will uh, want to draw that, you will want right. to connect them, but... Like here and going in, uh, for example. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably more where you have, like, the body overlapping the arm something like that's where you have like one shape covering up another you want to make sure they're clearly separated probably yeah or like his uh his uh wrist cuff i mean that's that's actually a separate thing from his body i would want that clearly defined yeah, actually there's not that much of a, that's not that much of a deal if you're going to color to add color because um, the color itself it's going to close it uh, and there's actually a perception rule uh, of closing you can leave uh, um, areas open for example uh, an incomplete circle it would the mind would read it as a circle mm -hmm. I don't know but, if I explaining yeah well correctly. like like here I mean I, I think your mind kind of fills this yeah here, you, you will still want to to draw the the corner, I mean to draw uh, to draw even a, at least a small line that goes toward there, like from this way. Yeah, because and you can leave it open in the middle or wherever, but that line is actually important because it defines where the plane changes. Yeah. 
but it's that kind of stuff. Uh, most of it you pick it up with practice. Yeah. Here's that word again. Yeah, but, uh, but I mean, really, at the end of the day, that's it. Uh, Technique-wise, there's nothing wrong, Wolf. It's just a little more practice. Yeah. I mean, you can have all the talent in the world that if you don't practice, it's not going to be useful. Yeah. And I think, At the end of the day, it's... And I think back to when you started last year with this class, and, you know, you're wondering, are you close? Well... Go back a year and look at those <laughs> look at those drawings. Yeah, you're close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And don't ever sell yourself short. Yeah. Just from going to these art shows, trust me, even if you don't like your own work, there's somebody that'll pay money for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it's the old adage of... Uh, an artist never thinks anything they do is done because just in the process of making it, they got better. Yeah. And so, yeah. it's, so it never looks done to them. But yeah, I mean, if, if you took those painted concepts you did and it, people who don't do art would be like, wow, that's really cool. And you're like, oh, it looks like garbage. But it doesn't to the rest of the world. It's always going to do you. <laughs> Because you, you got your better. Own critic. Yeah. Well, you got better while you were making it. So, even by the end of it, you can see the flaws. But now you're coming along fine, man. Just more practice. I I can't really rip anything on you. I mean, there are even things you won't notice in other people's art, like until someone like points it out to you, or you go looking right. for a problem specifically. So I've like seen, started watching those level up videos that Jonas DeRoe like helps with and uh, yeah like they were like critiquing someone's drawing when they first pulled it up and it was like oh my goodness that's amazing and then they started pointing out the problems and it's like you're right there are issues there and, yeah you know, it's a lot easier to see those in your own art than in somebody else's yeah I've seen people do some nice things with feathering it doesn't look like they feather it at all and I'm using a different brush I don't know but they can watch training videos or just videos art videos anyway kind of interesting yeah there's uh, and some some of the things I noticed it's uh, like if I really if I um, had uh, spot blacks and all of this you know if I did all kinds of things like that um, then it would uh Just because, it, just from all that treatment, it would it would look better than it than it uh, the lines would look better than they are. <laughs> that makes sense. No, yeah, that's always the case, and that's the beautiful of uh, the beautiful thing about spot blacks is you can just do a lot of fill and then back out what you don't want, and it ends up looking spectacular, and nobody knows the way you got there. So it doesn't matter how you get there. Just so you do. So yeah, you're coming along great. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Nelson, how's uh, the stuff you're doing going? Are you there? Still working on it. Oh, you make me sad. Are we going to take a break? break? Yeah, I think uh, it's quarter after nine. Let's take uh, five, ten minutes, everybody bathroom, drink, something to eat, whatever you want to do, and we'll come back and pick it back up. See you guys in a few. You see this vector stuff, Steve? Yes. Yes, I do. Like, what's cool about this is that right here, you get, when you new layer, you can either have the raster layer, which uh, just doing regular lines where you can uh, create it as a new vector layer. And if you create it as a new vector, vector layer, you don't have to do anything different. You just use the same pins and brushes that you normally do, and you just you can just draw with it. But then you can uh, 
come down here and and I'll mess with it. Okay, that's cool. And Steve, you've been added. Oh, uh, what's the server? I should probably post that, shouldn't I? Uh, it is that. Sweet. Okay. Now, do we have to worry about any kind of certification as far as passwords and stuff, or is that? I'm generating. When we set up our. I'm okay, cool. generating it. You guys can change it if you want, um, but I'm giving you guys your first passwords because, like I said, I don't have open registration enabled. Okay. Oh, so you'll just fire that off to our emails and we go from there? Yeah, I'm sending uh, I'm sending Richard Gamble an email right now. Perfect. All right. All right, you have an account. You have an account. You have an account. Everybody has Nobody here watches Oprah. <laughs> no, that's what I thought. I was thinking that, but I'm like, no, I'm not going to make that clear. Alright. Jizba. Good thing they don't have a um, word filter on this. That's actually never happened to me, believe it or not. <laughs> really? I've gotten emails back asking me why I have such a childish email, but I've never actually had a filter like cut up my name. Uh, all right, I'm synced up. So check, check this out. You can you can right. adjust the line thickness. I sent you an email. Uh, wait, why isn't it? Nick. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah, that's Crazy. that's very uh, uh. very illustrator like. Right. For not for not nine hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, what does Illustrator have that this doesn't? Uh, I don't know how much got, Illustrator is, but Photoshop standalone is like seven eight hundred bucks. I'm sure Illustrator is about the same. Ma well, Mega Studio. Everything. But that's what I do. Mega 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 Studio is uh, usually I I don't know it it, it started out as eighty. If you go to their site right now, they have a deal uh, for it to be just under 50. But if you go to Amazon, you have a deal for it to be like uh, uh, somewhere around 25, which is what I did. Huh. Yeah, whenever you yeah, see a sale, you should always it. check Amazon. Always. Right. <laughs> because it, well, well, because they have it marked down from the sale that. Uh, that the uh, Mega Studio people uh, have. And, uh, Unless it's a computer sale, then you go check Newegg after you check Amazon. Newegg? Newegg's. I, I found Newegg's generally cheaper than Amazon for computer parts. Oh, computer parts. All right. Um, Wolf, well, what's your email so I can get you set up? Assistant, doesn't it? Or whatever. Yeah, quit dinking around, Wolf. Post your email. Uh, here. So many buttons. See that? Are you posting in the questions panel or something? No, I just had it on the screen. I have oh, I have the screen, dude. He's not even looking at that. I'll get you. Oh, just not the screen. I completely forgot about the questions panel. <laughs> well, I never use it. Is this a question panel? <laughs> yeah, there's a question panels in go to meeting, but I never look at it, so don't use it. <laughs> No, <laughs> no way. I haven't seen it used since we stopped doing like the Derek style classes. Did we even use it then? I don't yeah, think so. yeah, we did. We had bigger classes, so we you made us raise our hands to talk. Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back when Derek first started. Yeah, because we started using that with the other 
live classes with Zach. All right, Wolf, well, I had to do one. So, so you are able to see it, Steve? You're able to log in and everything? Yeah, I'm synced up with the uh, MMO design folder and everything. I'm good to go. Can I sync it up with multiple computers? Because I do about half my work on my desktop and half on my laptop. Yeah. You can, it's just like Dropbox. Cool beans. There's a way to scale it down. Still scaling up. It's weird. Huh. Hey, you can see the little check mark over there? You have it on thick width, thicker width, so you need to check the thin width thing. Oh, there we go, yeah. I've done that before. No. This must be really useful to for doing wave lines. Doing what? Line weight. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. line weight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we're going down. Uh, Wolf, are you setting up your thing? No, why? Because we want to be sure it works. You can take my screen and watch me paint rocks while uh, he does that. Uh, yeah. Alright, we'll do that. And then once we know you're working, we need to uh, have a round table and decide some fun and interesting ways that we can show off a lot of the work we've done to the world and try cool. to get more people interested. Sounds, Sounds good. good. That looks more like a sky than rocks. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Darn it, Wolf, set, just set up your C file. <laughs> it's like talking to my son. Uh, okay, I have a password, but what do I do? Uh, for, uh, first, you have to go to C file and download the C file client. Oh my god, so much work. Yeah, that's why you should have been doing it. <laughs> god, it really is like talking to my son. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is it is it MSDN? Is it now C file? What? Yeah, look uh, look look what uh look what Nelson put in... Give me a link. C file dot com. Oh, oh right there. Oh C. Yeah. It's in the ocean. Yeah. See, not see. See, I thought you were saying C, not C. Yeah. C, C. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> You're going to get worse. <laughs> also, like my son, I know Wolf does it to me on purpose. Can I get a new car? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He didn't even get an old car. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, okay. So my okay email. So obviously. I do really like that color scheme. I think that's going to turn out really well. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even sure why it works so well. It's just one of those things. Like, I guess it's. I, I really do like that blue, green, yellow analogous color scheme. I've just never done it so saturated before. Yeah, when I when I saw it in the thumbnail, I was like, wow, I don't know, that's going to be really bright, but 
Oh, that's gonna look cool. I have toned it down for... way down from the original. Yeah. One, but... <laughs> it only has a remember me for seven days. <laughs> that's weird. So it's like, are you logging into the website or are you logging into the client? I don't know. Oh, Wolf. <laughs> okay, here. Let me send you a link to the client. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Because, because you're not you're not connecting to their C file cloud. You're connecting to our C file. Yeah. Cloud. Uh, on the front page, just go to download. That's up at the top. There. Copy and paste that link, and then download okay. it and install it. All right. Yeah, I've got another art show coming up, and it's like comic book and like anime manga themed, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for it. I'm wondering if I can just submit like a fantasy art piece and get away with it. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, bet if, hand. I'll bet if you took any fantasy art piece and gave it like cell shading or something like that, somebody there would snap it up. Yeah, probably. On the one hand, I have to say thanks for the tip regarding Amazon. On the other hand, I have to say, dang it, why'd you have to tell me about Amazon? Do, do I have to have this installed? What'd you get burned can I, on? Just, can I just have it um, as a th thing where I go to their website? No. It has to be well, installed? you have to install the client. Well, you don't need to install the client. You can, if you want to, you can go here um, and log in there, but you should install the client because otherwise it would be a pain to All right. do stuff with. Are, are you afraid of it, Wolf? Well, I'm, I'm just wondering how how many gigs it's Oh, it's, to... it's nothing. It's a client. It's no, tiny. No. No, but I was, I mean, isn't it, is, is it like Dropbox where it starts just piling gigs onto your computer? Yeah, well, it'll pile whatever's been dropped into the C file, and I think the current size is at, what, one and a half gigs for all this stuff? Uh, it's about that, I think. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't be an issue until we actually start making an actual game, and even then, it shouldn't be an issue if you have a hard drive bigger than, say, 500 gigabytes, because there's just no way we're going to create that much data for any one game. Yeah. Especially, like, the majority of that is the artwork, I think, but we're getting to the point now with some of the tools that we're actually getting smaller file sizes for more robust, powerful textures by the end of it, so it works, I think. Well, and so once we have all this set up, I'll go in and stuff that we're not using to demo to the public from people that aren't with us anymore, I'll, I'll clean up a lot of that. Okay. Uh, what what's the server? It says add an account. What server? The server is going to be http colon slash slash c file dot three bus dot com. You might need to slow down for a. <laughs> no, it's it's here in the. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's in bus dot. All right. I'm just gonna fire up the Mac and I'll get this thing set up. Now, can we we can set this up on multiple systems, right? That's nice okay. just like Dropbox. Awesome. Unless you mean more than one, then no. <laughs> just like him. <laughs> <laughs> what I just imagine heck? if he got involved in the classes again, you'd have two of them. Well, Ty never really did get involved. The girls did, but... He he was there a little bit. He was there a little bit, yeah. but very—he was very lackluster about it. All right, did uh, Steve? Did you get the file I decided? Hello world, I'll yeah. Yep, popped up and gave me a notification and everything. All right, latency is pretty good then. C file organizes files by li libraries. Do you like to download your default library and create a virtual disk? 
that's going to be your your default library is your personal library for i mean i would suggest that people don't actually use that <laughs> so say skip uh, yeah you can probably get away with skipping that um because you should be added to the mmo design group already can you see that uh i i Do you have a little window on your screen that I have a little window. Do you have under recently updated, do you have a three D Buzz MMO design folder? Mm hmm That's mm -hmm. that's all you really need. Yeah, okay. You're gonna right click and wanna set up sync for that. If if it hasn't been done already. Yeah, as far as the Amazon thing, it's not so much that I'm getting burned, it's just I'm seeing a lot of stuff that I'd like to get, and I don't have the money for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that comes with the territory. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I lucked out big time with a, um, a, a comic expo that we just had in Calgary recently. There was a piece of artwork that I really, really wanted to get, and the artist actually allowed me to put uh, layaway payments in to get it basically at a future conference down the line later in the year. And apparently he never does that, so I was like, sweet. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm waiting for Amazon to like send me an email and go, look, actually buy some of the stuff in your wish list or clear out what <laughs> your wish list because it's too large. <laughs> There's actually more items in the wish list than we have in Amazon. There's something wrong here. It's getting that way. <laughs> Much of it I was going to get until Unreal 4 came out and I tried to run it on my old computer. <laughs> Okay, just for the sake of testing things, I'm going to get my Mac top up and running through the phone, and I'll see if I can connect to this. Okay, where did my window go? So, so I, I have to start uh, C file, but it says C file is already running. Uh, it's going to be in your tray, lower right hand side. If you can't see it, hit the little up button. Oh, wait, wait, I, I see it now. Thanks. This is actually kind of neat. I might start using this instead of my personal Dropbox. I like the setup. Hello on it. world. Hello world. Oh, there you're synced. He just things and stuff. Hmm. Line editor on this site. That's neat. Yeah, I was able to actually edit that file from the site. Cool. Anyway, um. So let's see. The drive that it's on has 111 gigs free. Well, that should be all right for a while. Uh, how how much room do we individually have? Uh, individual. I don't think there is a cap. I don't think I set that up to have a uh, cap. That's so scary. effectively, we're only limited by our own space or the server, whichever is less. Oh, yes, and we're limited also by um, not being a dick. He says on the Richard, recording. Screwed, <laughs> oh, you're recording? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what you're saying, yeah, so what you're saying is don't back my hard drive, bu drive up there. That, that yeah. Might be bad. <laughs> yeah, I figured that one, uh, anybody who missed, uh, could see how to set it up. Um, you can also get a, let me see, it is, it works on the iPad, iPhone, and Android devices too, but for some reason I thought that, oh no, they're free. Yeah, you can get the free apps for um, Android or iOS. That'll be really cool someday when I have actual technology. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I have a PC and that's it, because I really never leave this room, so I don't need any of the other stuff. I don't even have a... I finally got us. 
you, I finally got a smartphone and I realized I never want to use it for like data data stuff like that. Like it just doesn't make sense. I still don't have one. You know, the moment you find yourself in an area that has no accessible Wi-Fi, you're going to be rethinking the whole lack of a personal hotspot thing. I rethought it for my art shows because I needed to get one of those square card readers, and there wasn't anything that worked with just PC for some reason. That was easy to set up anyway. I'm sure it'd be fun and cool to have. I just can't justify spending the money on one or adding to my plan for one. Why? I just te technically, I'm here so much, I don't even need a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I went to a bunch of conventions last year. Um, hotel Wi-Fi was so terrible that I needed to get a, turn my phone into a mobile hotspot. Otherwise, I couldn't do anything online. You guys are talking about mobile hotspots, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Because I, I heard that term, but I cut out for a second, so I don't know if you guys were moved on to something else. It was funny, actually, because I was with a group at one of the phony conventions who they had set up a place in the vendor hall. And they were paying like $200 or $300 a day for their Wi-Fi, which was supposed to be decent. And this group is like 100% online. So their booth was just a row of like six laptops or seven laptops showcasing all their stuff that they do. And it turns out that the vendor hall Wi-Fi, it took us, like, we got the password by, like, the end of Friday, and it was shared between everyone. So the password got leaked out to almost everybody in the convention, oh my. and we got maybe, like, 10K down. Oh, God. So I took out my phone, and I actually had my phone sitting on the vendor table as a mobile hotspot so that they could showcase their products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things my little art group told me was never rely on any sort of Wi-Fi at the conventions. Because, mm -hmm. like, some of the people have paid for it before and said it just wasn't worth their time. Yeah, it's expensive. Like, you think $100, $200 is expensive, but that's that a pony con. Like, you go to the bigger conventions and it's it gets really bad. Oh yeah, like so, this uh, the Spectrum convention, I think it was. It might have been a different one, but like to get power at their vendor table, it was a couple hundred dollars. And that's just because they had to pay a union person to run an extension cord, basically, and tape it to the floor. <laughs> wow. I, I, I imagine some of the people that were complaining uh, about uh, the things not working uh, as they should uh, were like downloading movies on their... <laughs> On, on the password that they uh, leaked, they got leaked. Well, we sure weren't, um, but I'm I'm I, I I'm sure everybody in that convention had that password. Right, that's what I'm saying. Is oh yeah, maybe not there. But everybody in the vendor hall that had any sort of online demo was really upset about that. Right, obviously, and that was at BronyCon. That was like eighty five hundred people or something, almost nine thousand right. people. Wow. No, but I mean, it's it's like I think even the people they could be downloading a movie and they're just like, "Boy, your service sucks." <laughs> you know, they're just like, "Get your stuff together, guys." I don't want to wait here and you to download all your. I'd just I'd be furious if I shelled out all that money and then everybody had access to it. Yeah, that's not cool. I'd be calling out, going, "Yeah, I canceled that check. Good luck." <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way that's happening though. You have to pay for some of those conventions like six or seven months yeah. in advance. Like, there's a local show that I missed that I was planning on going to because they had the registration in like January for their September show this year. Did I disconnect? No, you, uh, no, no you're, you're here. Okay. No, um, the group that I was with, though, they did a bunch of, like, advertisement for Burning Con, so they got comped badges, and um, I think their vendor table itself was free, but the Wi-Fi wasn't included with their deal. So, fortunately, that was one of the few things they had to actually pay for. Well, that sucks, but, I mean, at least it's buffered by getting comped all the other stuff a little. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay, well, in a few weeks I should have a copy of Manga Studio to fire up and not have any idea what to do with. But <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, wait, oh, wait uh, yeah, I'll show you. If you go to their site, actually, I'll, I'll link you to... Uh, they have a bunch of tutorials uh, just, like, explaining it, and then, of course, YouTube and get more stuff. But, uh, Sweet. Let's okay. Uh, it should be... There, go there. Okay. And then there's a whole list of tutorials. You get to start at the top or something. Thanks. All right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Nelson, I was able to connect to uh, the Seagate client, so, yeah, good to go. I'll be, get the transfer moving uh, in the morning when I get home. It'll be about 10 hours from now, give or take. Well, that reminds me, Nelson is... Uh... Are those uh, Camtasia files in FileZilla? He ran away, didn't he? I think so. <laughs> it sounds that way. <laughs> Why, both of you talking and no response. <laughs> it's either that or he's yelling obscenities at his, at his microphone because for whatever reason it just stopped working. No, it's a... I don't know how to put it, but there's a particular kind of silence when when he leaves his desk and gets out of range for the wireless headphones. They're 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 not actually muted; they're just out of range, and it sounds different than when he mutes it. I don't know how to explain it, but I can tell now when he does it. So I'll start talking, and then my brain will go, "You know, you can hear he's not there." It's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm on a roll here. I'm going to get these thoughts out. Uh, hey, Nick, did you, were you here? Did you notice when I was uh, posting about that uh, Coursera class, the free class, that uh, it's uh, imagining other Earths? No, I did not. I'll post that. I'll post that again. Uh, you sh I, I imagine it's, it's already ended, but... Uh, uh, usually, you can you can still um, sign up for it after it's um, ended if 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 they are still allowing you to go there, which they um, they are now. Do you know now. what it is? Like my problem right now is time. Like I barely have time to get through some of like the downloaded videos. So I've, I've oh, it's it's like an actual college class. On I don't think it's so much an art class as. A, no, no, it's a class yeah, it's class. This is a college class. It, it's not. Uh, um, you can. It's about downloading. If you can download videos, uh, then uh, then you can watch it any time. The class has already ended, but I, I haven't. Okay. I haven't watched it yet. I just downloaded uh, the videos. Uh, okay. But I think it would be very helpful for anybody here. Um, is it like those sci-fi, um, I've paid a lot, a lot of attention to like sci-fi writers talking about how they imagine worlds. I've seen like tons of videos. Is it that, that kind of thing or is it? it... I, I think it's about the science. It's, it seems, I mean, there's a little video that you can watch later on that, in the link that I gave you. But uh, I believe it's about the science of, of, of what uh, they can imagine other worlds being like and, and um, with life and stuff, you know, like how... Um, yeah, it's, okay, it's, yeah, it's, I've seen a lot of stuff, similar stuff. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's more like an alternate, like if you were an astronomy major. Well, but, yeah, but but, but I mean, it, it's beneficial to us to to to, to think on that line because I mean, that's very inspiring, you know, to go, oh yeah, if they, you know, these, uh, you know, if there's strong helium and you know what whatever you know this could be these floaty guys or you know or, 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 or like things about like uh, say if there's strong gravity you know how how their okay, structure yeah. would have to be I think I think it'd be things like that I've definitely gone through a lot of stuff like that before because I used to follow a lot of science fiction writers talk about their like writing convention kind of things uh, and like watch videos on that so it sounds almost exactly like uh, who was it I can't remember his name 
The guy that wrote Ring World was like one of the big proponents of that. David I Niven. Think. Yeah, let, oh, Larry Niven. Larry Niven, it? that's it. Yeah, and there were a couple other guys, and like I used to follow their things where they talk about how they go to conventions and set up these talks about how to like world build and stuff like that. And it sounds really similar where they're talking about the science behind it, why things would be the way they are. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, I mean, that's 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 how I interpret. I haven't watched them yet, but uh, uh, that's how I interpret it. But uh, you know, there might be some gems you haven't uh, seen yet. But I mean, yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm starting to have to decide what I actually want to watch because I've right. yeah, I've got so much stuff going on. So was, yeah, I started watching those level up videos and I only got like one of them done and I downloaded that free video that you linked in Facebook the other night, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't gotten through that one yet. Me neither. I got <laughs> Twenty minutes into it and yeah. I haven't even started it yet. <laughs> Like it, it seems pretty good. I've, I've enjoyed watching him so far. But... I've, I've been watching the that Fame guy, F C D or some. What is that? Oh, Feng Zhu. F C D yeah, school. FCD school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, going through a lot of those. Really learning a lot, and enjoying that. And, uh, I learned a lot from him, but I. I I realized I hit a point where I think you would actually have to go through his design classes to go further. Like, just watching what he's doing isn't really explained to you how he's making that decision. Yeah, that's that's like a big part of why I haven't been so into these things, is because if I'm not getting, like, able to, like, paint along with him and get feedback, I don't gain get nearly as much out of the class. At least that's just me, personally. Like... Um, a couple of them that he did where he painted in real time were really, yeah. those were really helpful for me. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I like, why I like the level up ones is because I can actually watch them do it, like, while they're talking, basically, so it's... Yeah, the only down... Is that something you paid for, or is it... Free? No, no, no. No, level up is free. Level up it's, is on uh, YouTube. You can subscribe. They, they have their own website now, actually. It's yeah, uh, fusrodal.com. clouds today. Uh, Hang on a second and I'll find out website for you. I'll just Google it on my other. Oh yeah, Fuzzroda. I got it. Yeah, from Skyrim. Oh, is that a Skyrim character? No, no that's that's one of the shouts. Like, I think that's like Force Unrelenting Force or something. The one where it actually knocks things back from you. Oh, because it's it's a. Uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Um, the shouts or whatever. No, Skyrim? no, the uh, the website is. Uh, it's built from the three guys' name. Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. But if it's also a thing in Skyrim, that in Skyrim, that makes it probably with really it. cool, and I have to hate them a little bit for that. <laughs> did, you, did you guys notice that link I did? That was for Noel Bradley, uh, one that uh, watched a little bit of. It's uh, I like it. Which one? Oh, the one you just put in there. Yeah, yeah. And Noah little... Noah Bradley's the guy we that uh, actually Nick was just talking about where he said he, yeah, he no. downloaded it too. Yeah, I like Noah's stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a good series right here. Yeah, I've watched a bunch of his stuff. I had to friend him up on Facebook and talk to him a bit. Just, he does some good work. Hi guys. Unfortunately, I have to scoot for now. I have to get a patrol out of the way, but uh, if we're still running by the time we get back, I'll chat with you then. And if not, I'll see you next week.
Yeah, see you, man. What's it? What's it take you, bud? It's about an hour. Oh, an hour? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we'll still be here that long, but darn, that's too bad. I wanted your input on some of that stuff, but I'll talk to you outside of class. Yeah, no problem. Just uh, send me a message on Skype. I've got my phone logged in there right now, so uh, I'll take the keyboard with me and I can chat that way. All right, cool. All right. Have fun, man. Well, then, talk to you later. <laughs> Have a blast. Time of your life. What, doesn't everybody love their job? <laughs> what could be more fun? <laughs> If I have to deal with a medical emergency tonight, you and I are going to have words. <laughs> Steve or me? You. Steve, Steve did it. He just wanted to tell you to have fun. I was, yeah, just, pointing, yeah. I was just pointing that out. Have, have fun? That's fine. Have a blast? Nah, cross some line. Oh. Yeah, th <laughs> like yeah saying, things uh, can blow up where he's word. at. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. All right, guys, take care. Later, man. Take care. <laughs> uh, Nelson, are you back? Or did you just... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, all right, we need to uh, come to decisions. And, right. Nelson, I don't know if you had any ideas based on what we could do on the site or for us to kind of work with. or. Well, I mean, the obvious thing is start posting in the forums. <laughs> I mean that's really the obvious, the most obvious solution to this problem. Yeah, that's true. It's um, easy enough. Post uh, on the forums like every time you do something, like something. I don't know who's drawing right now. Who's drawing? I, I, yeah, I do. Every, yeah, everybody that's left. here. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I mean, who's like literally drawing right now? That's Nick. Oh yeah, that's Nick. Nick's painting. Okay, so for example, oh. once you've finished that, write a thread. About it. Okay. I, I've been I've been posting post two of my uh... so I should start posting them on 3D Buzz in addition to like Facebook. Yeah, it, ha it has to be organized in 3D Buzz, and then we'll figure but out not, a way. Not, not in the MMO part, right? Yes, in the MMO. So, uh, that's we need to start using the swarms for something because they're kind of dead right now. Well, I I mean I, like, but I thought. I thought the uh, non-member sponsors couldn't use them. Uh, I think I turned that off. Uh -oh. so I, I don't. I'm yeah, not but sure even if to... even if it's that case, what I was, what I'm planning on doing, or my idea is for you guys to start posting your stuff somewhere. Like every time you get done with like one thing, or even a work in progress thread for every like one thing you guys are working on. Um, not only to organize discussion about it, but also so people who don't aren't in these classes can see it, and also to make it, you know, look like things are getting done, because there is a lot of stuff that's getting done. It's just nobody. Yeah, knows we've it. done a terrible job of communicating that. Um, so we need to drum up a lot more interest, and one way to do that is, like I said, post a work in progress thread or a completed thread for every little bit that you guys are working on in the uh, in the thing. So people uh, can discuss it. I'm just I, I'm just wondering if uh, if people are really uh, I maybe maybe if you promote the idea that the average person can can go into the MMO. Uh, they're open. The threat the forms are open actually. I just yeah, checked. but I, I I imagine like oh he just me, he I just means know, like so I, I bet he just means like people a... like think that they can't so they don't even try. Yeah, just like yeah, I'll throw a post in the lounge or something that says hey guys even if you're not a member sponsor you have access to the forums here look around i'll, but, I'll figure you know, out I, something I, to write up and i it's all right i i have just been doing that uh uh just been posting it in uh my uh my threat in the member uh well, not members the, yeah that one the, the one yeah that one thread that you have in the lounge that that's right. fine but now i, I would seems, say from here on out I'll post them to the other one also yeah also, yeah. yeah, I could I could do both. Yeah, because uh, I mean I definitely think that's good because there's a lot of people have visited that one. So I think. Yeah. think and then good. we can think about once we get some content up there, what we could showcase on an individual page. Um, actually, there is one thing that I could show you guys that I've been kind of sort of working on. I worked on Monday, but I didn't work. 
Um, N- Nelson, do we have the ability on a separate page to, like, if we did a turntable, little turntable video of, like, the ZBrush model, could we run a little video on it? A turntable. Turn you know, where, if it's in... Yeah, the model is spinning. Where it's in ZBrush and we actually make a little movie of spinning it around so you can see it. You put the model oh, just, just um, like in a w- the window on the page that is, you know, you don't have to stream. Is that or... terribly hard to do? I don't know. I will have to think about it. Because for some of the 3D stuff, that would it would look much more spectacular like that. Yeah. But anyway, so this is one of the things that I've also been working on a redesign of the home page. Um, that's just the one of the pages that has more most stuff on it. Um, but I also want to put together a hub for the MMO, talking about upcoming videos, and it would also be nice to showcase some of the artwork on this page as well. Yeah, it would. Yeah, that would be very cool. Uh, we could always just render out an animated GIF of like the model rotating. That way, you you could post the GIF instead of you could post an image and then like a lower resolution GIF so they could actually see it rotate around. Right, that's true. Yeah. That way, you wouldn't have to worry about hosting video. You could just render it out that way, basically. Yeah, that's true. And I I presume yeah, just do that in the in the forums. Yeah, that way you wouldn't have to do anything super special, and they could still be more accessible three D stuff, kind of. Yeah. I like that idea. Nelson likes that idea because then he doesn't have to go figure that out. <laughs> Wait, get, do, do, yeah, that that works. Right, gifts work in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen work other like people's file basically. Cool. I, I think gifts are generally designed for the web anyway. They're lower resolution, right. not so great, but they can do animation. Right. But yeah, I mean, yeah, if you have a JPEG or something on there that shows detail and then a little GIF running below it, that'd be right. fine. We we still, I, I mean, I I did like I uh, colored in three uh, other comic pages that are not um, up. They need like words, but. It, yeah. Probably. Do I have those? Doing that. Do, I don't know. Uh, email them to me again, just in okay. case. I, it's, right. You can email them to me faster than I can search in my email and see if I got them or not. Mm-hmm. Especially after migrating everything on my computer. There's absolutely a very high chance that some of that stuff didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then uh, I, like I said, I have uh, some ideas, like some uh, strong ideas of uh, of scenes that I would like to do for that comic. I I only but, I only accept weak ideas. Yeah, but uh, but I, I have to. Still You're gonna be strong and shove it down my throat, aren't you? Okay. No, that'd be yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Nelson, I still have to say, 3D Buzz purchases plural site is killing me. <laughs> Where's the other one? There was another funny one right under that. Oh, that's on the homepage one that I had. <laughs> oh yeah. Plural site. Yeah, plural site bought bought out. Uh, well, they bought. Yeah, they, they bought out TechPub a couple months ago, and TechPub was a .NET programming training site, a pretty big one. Then they bought out Digital Tutors. And so then Nelson put up a thing saying, we bought them, and our reign of terror is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> Accompanied by the 3D Buzz news that ramen noodles aren't that bad. Really, just, just <laughs> add in an egg while you cook them. <laughs> 
Oh, that's that's really useful. Right? Yeah, him and me were just Maybe talking along, all face. serious about how this should be laid out, and my eyes wandered down, and man, I spit coffee everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I want to get a um, a homepage finalized and the MMO hub, which on the MMO hub I wanted to, again, this is all public facing stuff, so this would be the homepage of the site replacing what's there already. Um, you guys are going to kill me for the way I have my layers organized, by the way. I, I told you, we don't care. I can feel you guys judging me right now. <laughs> you should see how all the layers are sometimes. See, you actually named them, like, kind of. <laughs> I named by groups. I did, or some of my groups. Anyway. See, I don't even always do that. Sometimes I'm, I just collapse a copy of the group above it so I can see everything in the group when I turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had many a 40-layer painting where I look over, I'm like, I have no idea what layer is what on this. Just have to start clicking through them, seeing what disappears. Or I'll start editing color, and then suddenly that'll like create another like three layers that, you know, all the actual paintings underneath those three layers. But I can't really edit the painting anymore. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so trust me, we're not judging you. Um, for there have been times where yeah, I've had like three groups before, and they serve no purpose whatsoever. But I assume they did, so I just never deleted them. <laughs> yeah, d done that too. Um, all right, so the forums, do you want us to just, uh, every time we do something, make a new thread so that it really piles up threads in the MMO forums? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Every, what'd you say? Every time we do something, we talk about it in the post? Uh, well, you make a new post, so if you do a, a new piece of art, make oh. a new post, unless it's a work in progress, but... I wish, what, yeah. what if they're oh. related pieces, like the two images from the same building kind of thing? Uh, it's up to your discretion, but I really do want to pad the forms out a little bit to make to get some so you, activity. So what you're saying is you want me to do one for each drawing and then one for the building in general? <laughs> well, maybe in that case it might be too much. It's, again... Uh, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to navigate though. It, it, it's like it's so much easier if someone has just one thing where they can show all their drawings. Well, we'll have all of our uh, stuff on C file, and this is really just to really demonstrate that quite a bit of work is getting done because we've done a ton of work in the last. However many months, oh, right. but it does. It's a good thing. You but it doesn't look like we have to the general public. I was just about to post to my old uh, thread in here, but all right. I'll, Wait, no, you can, you it. can post to that too. Just, okay. just do so two that posts. Plus, <laughs> okay. Also, do all one right. in the MMO. So, no, no, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, this is in the MMO. I I have one that's just concept art. It's, it's stuff that's not in the other one. But I was at, adding the one. That... Oh, you're not talking about the one drawing thread that you had? No, I was, I was talking, there's another one in the MMO uh, game mechanics thing. Oh, God. The Enterprise Deck by Deck. That, that would be such a huge project. <laughs> yeah, that was the. I, I remember that. So they. Yeah. So yeah, well, well, they've been doing that for a long time. We'll we'll, we'll leave it at use your discretion. Um, but but yeah, if you're doing a completely new piece of art, make a new thread. What 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 if I? <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Okay, for the for this one, I'm going to do it in this one just to revive it, and then after that, I can do another one. I guess. Whatever makes you happy, man. It's, even though it, it feels silly about it. It feels silly. 
I, I still feel silly when I post it on DeviantArt and Facebook and then my portfolio site, but I do it anyway. Yeah, but this is all 3D Fuzz. Yeah, I've actually linked stuff I post on my public profile with my personal profile, and I know most of the same people are saying it both ways. I mean, I don't do that often, but when it's important, I'm just like, yeah, I better do that. Or if I need to sell tickets to something, that's when I'm just like, yeah, hey, look at this again, guys. <laughs> It'll all be okay, Wolf, I promise. Yeah, that's what you want me to think. <laughs> if it'll make you feel better, I'll like ridicule you silently anytime you, I see that. I'm just like, wolf, stop it. <laughs> nice. As long as, as, long as you're silent know. about it, I'll know. <laughs> Very uh, aware of that kind of thing. Huh? Oh, drop and drag. That's what I do. No? Oh, yeah. That is what I do. Sweet. Now I know that. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to post some of my older stuff Saturday, since that's my first really free day. But I'm also going to free comic book day, and I might get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, they actually have... Uh, Oh, what's his bucket from uh, Firefly? The guy that played. Uh... Oh. God damn it! Why can't I? It, My brain it, turned it off. doesn't matter because you said Firefly. What, what was his role? Captain, Captain pilot. Baldwin. Um, Baldwin. <laughs> Baldwin. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's it's Ron Glass. He's the guy that did. He uh, did a uh, book. The Shepherd. Yeah, Shepherd, Shepherd book. book. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. He also did Barney <laughs> Miller, making him one of the coolest people on the planet. Yeah, like he's done a lot of cool things, and so that's why I'm going there, and I'm not sure how long I'll be there. Um, yeah, you, you have my f full permission to forget everything you know between now and then, because I would. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome couple of weeks. All right, guys. Well, I think I will uh, clear out the recording, and uh, we'll get out of here. And yeah, start posting your stuff. And I'm not even going to worry too much about artwork for next week. Um, let's just try and get this stuff rolling once you see it come up. Um, Nelson, is this is something you want to have up before our next class? I have no idea. Okay. Well, at any rate, the forums doesn't. He doesn't. We don't need to have the new sites up for that. So. Work on getting some post stuff posted there, and uh, if you can do gifts of some of the stuff you got, awesome. If not, we'll work on it down the road. And then we'll let everybody go about their week. Fair enough. If you do get something worked on, you feel free to do whatever you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get something done. Or I'll just work on it. I have faith in you, Wolf. But uh, I've I've been watching a lot of tutorials and just learning that new software and just other tutorials, inking tutorials and stuff, and uh, just trying to figure out how uh, to do better on that. I believe in you. Which, uh, it's been very helpful. All right, All right guys, uh, we're already at 10:35. Everybody, get out of here. Go do whatever it is you want to do, and I will see you in a week. All right, see you later. Okay. See you All right, take care. Uh, oh, and uh, Nick, if you want to uh, Skype me, that's cool. I'll be around. Okay, cool. All right, guys, take care. Uh, if you could add me, uh, so I, I wouldn't have to look for all of you. Uh, if you could just add me on Skype, that would be great. Okay. Did you link your Skype in, doesn't it? Because I am very... I already did. Uh, Sergio M. Budnik. That's Sergio M. Budnik. That's pretty okay. much it. I'll, I'll, I'll Actually, I don't think the M's in there. Okay. It's... Yeah, I corrected it, I believe. Oh, I, I don't see it on mine. But... Okay, I'll, I'll find it. I don't have yeah. Skype set up on this laptop, but I'll wander over and get it. Yeah, I've got him, so you can always just ask me over Skype, too, when you get it.
Okay. Okay. That sounds good. All right, guys, take it easy. Right. I will see you next week. All right. Bye. I did that post. Bye. Oh, you're a good man. Bye.